For years I've put up with trim tabs that are too small and inefficient on this boat, and with their external hydraulic lines, they've really been prone to leaks. So this week on my boat, we're going to put on a larger and more efficient set of Bennett trim tabs that also come with some really cool features. The first step in the project was to get rid of the old, a task I was more than happy to do. With the old tabs gone, plenty of mass epoxy fillet mix was used to fill the holes. As always, a lot of time went into sanding the repairs. Now when you're setting a tab in place and positioning it on the hull, there's a couple of things you want to pay attention to. First of all, you've got to keep it just above the hull line as it follows along, but also away from the hard chine of the boat, and it doesn't matter that you're passing over any lifting strikes. With the locations marked, the backing plate was used as a template to drill the mounting holes. Assembling the backer plate, trim tab and hinge plate, the first mounting screws were inserted and started by hand. The balance of the screws were driven in with a drill. To position the tabs to install the hydraulic actuators, a board was held parallel to the hull and a screw was used to set the required negative angle. With the actuator attached to the tab, the mount was set against the transom and the drilling template was taped to the hull. With the template in place, the holes for the mounting screws, sensor wire and hydraulic pipe were drilled. To prep the actuator for install, the pipe nipple was tightened into the actuator. After applying caulking, the actuator was set into place with the wire and pipe inserted into the transom. After securing the actuator to the tab, the mount was screwed to the transom. Well, that's it for the port side. Trim tabs on, hydraulic cylinders on. We've used plenty of caulking to make sure that there's going to be no water penetration into the hull here. Now, starboard side, second verse, same as the first, then it's on to the inside. Inside the engine compartment, the first task was to install the hydraulic pump unit, or HPU, by securing its mounting bracket. Then the HPU was dropped in place. Next, the hydraulic lines were connected to the HPU. At the port actuator, a 90 degree elbow was threaded on and tightened. Then the hydraulic tube was connected to the elbow. Of course, this whole process was repeated on the other actuator. Next, the relay module, part of the tab indicator and the auto tab control for the Bennett system were installed. Once in place, the HPU was connected and the port and starboard position indicator feeds were plugged in. Next up was the task of fishing the two cables through to the helm. A fun task, but I won't bore you with the details. At the helm, the old switch was unfastened and the control wires cut. To open up access to install the new controls and wiring, the helm access panel was removed. After making some minor modifications, we were able to install the tab controls in the existing dash plate. Next, the cables for the electronic indicator control and the auto tab control were plugged in, and the panel was secured. Under the helm, the power leads for the HPU, indicator control, and auto tab control keypad were connected to the original setup's power supply. Ahead of the helm, the last component installed was the ATC control unit, which measures the attitude of the boat to automatically control the tabs. Back at the transom, the ATC control unit was plugged in, followed by the positive and negative wires from the HPU. The pigtail was then connected from the helm to the main harness and the relay module. Finally, the system's ground and positive power wires were connected from the HPU into the existing power from the helm. With everything connected, the HPU was topped up with transmission fluid. With the Bennett system powered up, both the tab indicators and the ATC were flashing, indicating they needed calibration. Finally, the tabs were cycled to purge the air and calibrate the indicators. Well, it's great we finally launched the boat here in the spring. Now it's time to try out the new Bennett tabs. And the first thing we're gonna test is how much improved the whole shot is. amazing, really greatly improved. The boat came up actually quite flat and for the first time running at 3500 RPM with only half the tabs deployed. Now we've got the boat in an absolute wonderful position where if the attitude is just right, it's now time to set the automatic trim control. So we actually just turn on the automatic tab control here, press the set, and when the blue light flashes, it says we've set our zero point. The boat will now stay in this attitude automatically. 
Well, that's it for my boat this week. It was a bit of a time-consuming install, but I'm glad we did do it. The tabs are really fantastic. The larger tabs have given this boat a much better hole shot where it's coming out a lot flatter and quicker. Now the automatic tab control, when you set it up, keeps the boat in the attitude where it runs the best, even through the turns. Now Bennett says with the larger tabs and the automatic tab control over the season should notice improved fuel economy. And I certainly hope that that's the case.